Welcome to this week's vlog guys. I'm getting ready to do a woodland walk. Well, come on. It's that time of the year. We all do it. I've got quite a nice composition here. I'm quite wide at 24 mil, but what I like about this, there's quite a lot of space and a path that leads the viewer's eye right down into almost like a, a tunnel effect at the end with a quite a bit of nice light coming through there which I quite enjoy but as foreground interest I've got this tree to my left hand side which I've conveniently placed in the, in the left hand third but the bottom of the tree there just forms this kind of green moss that's growing all over it and it's absolutely stunning it is so it is so green it's so saturated with colour at this present moment in time and more than likely I'm going to have to desaturate it in Photoshop in post-production just so that you guys don't naturally assume that I'm oversaturating my images but this is just absolutely stunning what a fantastic fantastic place I love this shot I do I love this shot let me just very quickly talk you through my settings I'm at f11 because I really want that depth of field I've got a quarter of a second and I'm at an ISO 400 um, if I'm honest I can probably drop that ISO right down to 100 which I'll probably do and extend that shutter speed and the reason why I can extend that shutter speed is because it is absolutely still as a still thing I'm in the middle of this wooded area which is absolutely fantastic I've never been here before and it's brilliant um, but it is still as a still thing it's actually quite warm as well it's very warm For me, when you're photographing any form of landscape, unless it's fine art, it's like telling a story. A story, just like a joke, needs a start, a middle, and an end. Ideally, it's not always possible to get that, of course, but ideally, that's what it is. That's what you need. So that's why I'm just kind of wandering around this wooded area right now, just looking for something of foreground interest, something of background interest. Clearly, I've got the mid interest because it's the wooded area it's all the autumnal colors it's the browns the greens the goldens the yellows so i've got the mid-tones so all i'm really doing is walking now looking for what i consider to be foreground interest alongside background interest if you kind of miss two of those three elements then that's when you end up with fine art photography you're never going to get that here never let me very quickly talk you through what I mean when I say the composition must be like a story or a joke where it has a start, a middle and an end. If you take a look at this composition here, it's quite nice. We've got kind of nice leading lines coming from the right hand side from the left hand side in the form of that path that's obviously covered with that autumnal brown colour. Um, onto a bit of a walkway that draws the viewer's eye in. Now, if I took that picture, it's okay, but it's just a little bit busy for me. And what's missing in this story, we've got mid-ground interest and we've got background interest, but what's missing now to finalise this image is some foreground interest. So all I've simply done is walked around until eventually I found something of foreground interest to add to the picture. Now the thing is, the foreground interest doesn't need to be too elaborate. So what I've done here is I've just discovered a broken branch that's obviously fallen down from the recent storms. Uh, there's some leaves around it and some autumnal colours there that look quite nice. So I'm just simply going to take a shot in portrait mode and use that foreground interest with the leading lines moving off up the path where there's a nice little bit of light at the end there. And I think 
Once that's finished with post production, that will look pretty damn awesome. Sometimes, something just grabs your attention. I don't know why, but sometimes something just grabs your attention. Now, where I'm currently stood here now is only 50 yards away from where we were photographing just five minutes ago. And this is actually the background interest of the shot that I took back there. And as I'm walking up, all of a sudden, this one tree here behind me, if you can see it, has just, it just stands out from all the rest of these trees. It's almost like color popping. So much so, I've walked around and I've got myself a nice little composition. But from your perspective, you've got this tree on the left hand side, the tree on the right hand side, just slightly outside of rules of thirds, but I think they make a really, really nice natural frame. Then what's really important is the tree, I've moved so the tree is slightly off center. You don't really want the tree in the center, that's bad practice. But I've moved this tree slightly off center to the left hand side. Like I say, it looks like color popping. I'm pretty, pretty psyched about this one, I love it. Now that is much more up my street. What a lovely couple walking a lovely dog. So I thought, you know, it's nice and brown. The floor is nice and brown. So therefore I think it'll match really fine in terms of a portrait, a pet portrait. So complete random strangers. I asked them if I could just take a picture of their dog. They're duly obliged, of which obviously I'll send them a nice copy and uh, take a look at this picture. I think you'll be impressed. Well, I've got to be honest, I've really enjoyed that woodland walk around this morning, I really have. And as much as I said earlier, it's not really my thing. And if I'm honest, I still don't think it really is my thing. But having done it this morning, I really, really do appreciate now why people can basically get a buzz out of it. Because if I'm honest, 
I've quite enjoyed it, I have, and I want to come back again. And of course, the beauty of woodland photography is you can come pretty much any time of the year, any time of the day, as long as it's not too dark, of course. It doesn't really matter what's happening with the light. You don't have to be here for sunrise or sunset. Although, if I'm perfectly honest, the award-winning shots generally do tend to be first thing in the morning or last thing at night. While that, there's a low light in the sky and it's casting light beams. Uh, through the trees but uh, we've all seen those pictures and they do look fantastic if I'm perfectly honest and I will get some of those for my portfolio but uh, thank you very much indeed for watching if you've enjoyed this week's vlog please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you think it's worthy of it then why not sub thanks a lot